What is up guys? Welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. My name is Steven Womack and today I got a really nice Instagram DM request from you guys. You requested that new Drake album cover look. The look to that cover of the Dark Lane demo tapes album that he just dropped. I love Drake. I love his music and I really love the new album so I'm super happy about this DM and I will gladly show you how to recreate that look using your smartphone and the free Lightroom app only so there's nothing else you will need. I've also created a preset on exactly this Drake look. It's on my website, the link is under this video and it's in that all presets pack along with over 80 presets, Travis Scott presets, more Drake presets, Playboy Cardi presets, a Gunner Stahl preset, Jason Noir preset and many many more that you can just easily paste to your pictures and once you have that all presets pack, there will be new presets on a weekly basis for you for free. So to all of you who have the pack already, this preset will be now online. Have fun with it. For everybody else, I really recommend to check out that all presets pack. It's a pretty good deal. And if you haven't already, also make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my future tutorials. Now, if there's anything that you need, any requests that you have, like this Drake look today was requested, just DM me on Instagram, at Stephen Womack is my handle. I'm always open for conversation, and I'm happy to hear from you guys. Now, I've said enough, let's jump right into this tutorial. The first thing you will need to do, of course, is open your picture on your smartphone in that free Lightroom app. Now, I've chosen this picture of Drake right here. It just comes super close to the setting. It's a dark scenery and he's in front of a dark wall, um, which I recommend you if you take the picture, make sure you're in front of a dark wall and the room is dark and you'll take the picture with flash. Also, if you really wanna get the look, make sure to wear dark clothing and maybe even a face mask like Drake does on his album cover. Now, the first thing you want to do in the lights tab right here is go to curve and then I want you to recreate this curve exactly as it is right here. So pull up the shadows and pull down the highlights on the right side and then in between just have that straight line. So it looks kind of like an S curve with a really flat line in between and then really just straight tops and bottoms. And once you have recreated this curve as it is right here, you should go from a picture like this as it was before to this right here as it is now. And once you have that, we are done here and we want to boost the contrast to around plus 61 in this case and the highlights we want to pull them down to negative 35 right here and pull down the shadows as well all the way down to negative 68 in this case and pull down the whites as well to negative 26 is good right here and the blacks also all the way down to negative 53 and now you can see it's a super dark picture but this is exactly what we wanted the shadows are blown out so it's perfect we go over to the colors tab right here and then we want to boost the temperature to plus five and the tint pull that down to negative 10 right here and for the saturation we also want to pull that down a little bit to negative 46 right there then we scroll up and hit the color mix and for the red tones, we just want to boost the saturation back up to plus 60 and go over to the orange tones. Here we want to pull down the hue to negative 20 and boost the saturation to plus 36 and uh, leave the luminance at zero. Now go over to the yellow tones and here we just want to boost the saturation to plus 49 right here. Now the green, aqua, blue, purple, and pink tones, we're gonna leave them as they are, not gonna change anything. So we are done here. And the next thing we wanna do is go to the effects tab and we want to pull down the clarity a little bit to negative 19, just to soften out the image a little bit. And then we want to dehaze, we wanna boost that up to plus 20, 21 is perfect. And now we just got that crisp, those dark shadows back in. And then we wanna scroll down and now we wanna add grain. So we wanna boost that up to around 13 and pull down the size all the way to zero. And the roughness, we wanna boost that up all the way to 76 right here. Now this is great so far, but we want to change the colors a little bit. So we scroll up and hit split toning. And now you want to pull the highlights over to a hue of around 65 
and a saturation of, in this case, pretty high, let's say around 47 is good. So it's 65, 47. And for the shadows, we want to pull a hue of around around 80 is good and a saturation of in this case 24 so it's 84 24 that is perfect and we are done here and now we go over to the detail section just because the colors in the image on the face for example are pretty chalk we want to smooth them out so we do some noise reduction to around 20 right here and color noise reduction to let's say 18 is perfect and then we're done here and that's it guys this is a drake album cover look now here's a little before and after and i think we really nailed this one it comes really close to that original one always keep in mind that we're only using the smartphone and the free lightroom app so this is really impressive i think how close we can get to that real professional film picture and once again i've created a preset on exactly this look so you don't have to toggle along to the whole tutorial it's on my website the link is under this video and it's in that all presets pack along with over 80 presets for you to just easily paste to every one of your pictures there's many travis scott presets more drake presets playboy cardi presets a gunner stall preset a jason r preset and many many more and once you have that all presets pack it will be updated on a weekly basis so you will be receiving new presets every week um, it's a pretty good deal make sure to check it out have fun with it and as you know i'm always happy about your subscription so make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of those future videos because it could be some of your requests just dm me on instagram at steven womack is my handle if there's anything you need any new requests that you have i'm always open for conversation and i will reply to all of your dms today have a little patience i'm getting a lot of dms but believe me i'm trying to reply to every one of them as fast as i can now thank you so much for watching i hope i'll see you in the next tutorial stay safe stay home stay creative um peace